What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this another edition of Cub Reacts as we jump into another video. This one landed overnight. Um, I'm only just seeing it, to be honest with you. The official uh, East African mix of Finesse, obviously originally by Fields and Benson. Benson's gone for this one. Um, it now features Ray Varney and the Semba. Uh, very excited to get into this one. I love these kind of um, almost continental shifting uh, remixes where you see kind of an East African version or like a North African version version or a West African version. I, I like seeing this as you get completely different takes on an original tune. Obviously, the original is one of the biggest releases of the year, still in the US Billboard uh, Top 10 for Afrobeat, so I am very excited to see how people are taking to this one. As always, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, of course, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see how this one sounds. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below, and without further ado, let's get into it right about now. <laughs> Even hearing those notes puts me into a good mood. Well, I guess, yeah, yeah. It's for like it be out. She wanna play with my finances. Find nigga like me from the trenches. Got keep on your ass with no distance. Money on my mind, what's the business? Cause I'm an ugly boy making sexy money. No doubt that the cash be the remedy for me. Hit me that's up. A, when you that's a J Hustle line, isn't it? I'm an ugly boy making sexy money. That's yeah, that's a J Hustle line. I'm pretty sure that's on um Want to get friendly with us? I'm pretty sure that's on that tune. But anyway, uh, cool start. Very much liking this kind of overdubbed vocal. It gives it a little bit more of a kind of a nostalgic old school feel where you've got those two vocals running next to each other. Not perfectly lining up, but still giving you that kind of um, almost kind of homespun energy. Working really, really nicely. Um, again, the intro of those notes were always going to put me into a good mood. And I like the fact that they kicked off very much in this um, very, very uh, almost complete rework zone. Like the instrumental still there, but they're starting off with the newcomers really really like it for something wanna put some mayonnaise on that ass cuz I finish they gonna wanna see me when I pull up with the best uh. other possibilities I put it on rest on my uh. niggas gonna pull up chilling no stress stress I finish put on your clothes down low on me bed if you wanna dance strictly on my chest chest checking on my balance and check check ah Again, there's something so catchy about the hook on this one. Um, I'm playing a show this evening, um, and I'm expecting this one to go down very, very well when I spin it. I'm 100% spinning Finesse. There's no way you can't spin Finesse, let's be real. Uh, but again, nice intro verse. Uh, again, kind of reworking a lot of the original kind of concept from the uh, the original lyrics from verse one, and very much playing around the term Finesse and, and very much using it a lot in the, in the uh, arrangement. Sounding very, very cool. Um, again, I'm liking this. I don't think anything will ever touch the original, but they're doing a good job of putting it into a very different direction, which... I feel is the most important thing on a remix to take the original themes and put them somewhere else. It's a good job so far. <laughs> I'm living my life to the fullest. Don't tell me what to do. Ah. You say my money's not enough. Yes. But it is not for you. It's a nice breakdown again. That idea on the first tune, there was always that big pause at the end where you just hear. When I've been living fast life. You just hear that bit at the beginning. They've left that sort of break to this second section here, and I'm pretty sure Benson does a similar thing. So um, the fact they've waited makes it even more impactful. Nice kind of use of auto-tune on the vocals as well. You can hear that electronic element quite clearly, but it's not a bad thing. It does add texture. It adds context, and it adds a, uh, a differentiation between the two vocals that we've heard so far. Very impactful way to kind of land. Again, I can't really talk about the instrumental too tough because we've reacted to the instrumental twice, both on the original reaction and, of course, the reaction to the Glitch Africa session as well. But again, sounding really, really clean. Um, it's a good remix addition, definitely taking it into a different direction and adding something new um, it, it, in regards to the sort of vocal approach. It's a nice approach again we're getting to hear those strings kind of coming a little bit more out of the instrumental in the backdrop as well because of the way this verse is structured I'm pretty sure they're there on the original one but they don't leap out as much purely because the vocal is a little bit more overbearing this one a lot more minimal quite relaxed 
relaxed in the delivery. Again, kind of going... That sort of vocal pattern again with that melody and that rhythm working quite nicely. Um, and again, it's going somewhere different. This is what I think is is very, very good about this. Again, I'm a big fan of Ray Vern Varney. I haven't listened to too much of the Semba, um, of the Semba, I think it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, I obviously I've heard the, the original version of this one quite a lot. I didn't even know there was going to be a remix happening, but I think um, that it's a good direction to go in. Um, just going somewhere very different with the vocal and it works. If you don't love me, go away. Mind your business. Mind your business. Nice. If I broke my business, I'm it's a nice direction to take it as we move towards the end, man. Very, very solid stuff. Again, I think um, overall this has been a very good addition to the original. If you're kind of using it as like a saga, like you obviously you have tunes, they get remixed, they get taken into different directions. Um, I think this one, I don't think it touches the original, if I'm being entirely honest. I think Budju's verse on the original, um, I'm pretty sure, no, Benson's verse on the original, he had changed names by then, um, is pretty untouchable. Um, and I actually prefer Fields' original intro verse again. Um, but both of these verses that have been added to this one do add something new. They add something refreshing. And more than anything else, they keep the concept of the track alive. Obviously, there are a lot of Ray Varney fans worldwide. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of December fans as well. But it works, and it does give it that extra kind of oomph. We'll let this one run through to the end and then give you our final break down but I have enjoyed this and there we go. The sounds of this one feels finesse. The Ray Varney and the Semba East Africa mix. Very, very nice. Uh, going in a very different direction. Again, I love the fact they've kind of remixed the idea of the, the original. They've taken a lot of kind of vocal concepts and reworked them. That second breakdown of mind your business. Really, really nice additional touch. And again, it shows they've understood the assignment. It shows they've added their own sense of direction on this one. Um, yeah, overall, very much enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you guys did at home as well. So let me know your thoughts on the tune. Let me know if you think this is a remix that made sense let me know which one of your th the, which one of the verses was your favorite at home and of course if you did enjoy this video please make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on of course leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff i hope you enjoy the rest of your friday and we shall see you all next time have a fantastic evening and peace Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Corp Camp TV. Stay locked.